Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can Wait, tell. Really, it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's God. it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, right now, <laughs> Disney does not need bad PR any more than they already have. And, and we got another instance. It's like well, every couple months, there's somebody arrested for some kind of predatory something around Disney. Oh, you're not allowed to say that. And you're definitely not allowed to say the G word. Yeah, so this is... Um, this is funny because I'm like, man, it's gonna be a slow news day. It's Sunday, and uh, you know, Disney is the gift that keeps on giving, and and in this case, it's it's extra special because it's Disney Star Wars. Disney Star Wars. Yeah, we have an employee from ex employee. Ex oh. They're ex employee as of this because they got arrested March 31st, and now they're an ex employee. So they have been ex employee for like a, not even a month. Of course, ex employee. I'd be worried if they they weren't fired. Uh, a former cast member can't call them employees, a former cast member at Disney's Galaxy's Edge for yeah. people who pretend to like Star Wars and like to drink a lot. And go to Moroccan flea market. And go to the Moroccan flea market. Yeah, he was uh, apparently taking upskirt videos of female patrons of the lightsaber shop, Doc Ondar. Yeah, so if a girl came in, because a lot of times girls would, go, would dress up Disney bound and everything else. Yeah. When you go in in your, your Disney bounding outfit, he was apparently. He was he was checking out your bountiful assets <laughs> yeah. with his, his yeah. So said, whatever he was using to do so. I mean, look, just disclaimer here, because I know we have cast members that, that watch our channel. There, there are almost 80,000 people that work yeah, at Disney. The majority of them are not bad people. Some of them are going to be creeps. I mean, that's yeah. just and, the and way people, it is. People you know? always say, they'll say, well, why didn't they catch them with a background check? Well, here's the thing. Okay. As a teacher, we have to go through background checks. Let me explain this. When they do a background check, if you have never been caught for anything in the in the past, it's not going to show up on a background check. Yeah. So if you, they do, even if they do all the clearances and stuff, if you've never been caught, arrested, suspected, any of that that stuff, it's not going to show up. So what happens is these people have never had a, a record before, and they get hired. It's not like Disney didn't do the due diligence. Uh, I'm just being fair here. If they do, if they do background checks, I'm assuming they do. I don't know. Um, it would not show up if they haven't been caught before. Yeah. That's how. So let's talk about this. It's coming from, oh my God, Fox News. But they actually got it from multiple news outlets uh, mm -hmm. in, in the Orlando area. The 26-year-old admitted to police he took over 500 upskirt yep. videos of women at Disney World. Did they TikTok that? That makes me really sick. No, no. He used it for his own on his phone for his personal sexual gratification. He told them so. Okay. So so he, he was... Uh, Watching them build lightsabers while also extending his own lightsaber. But you know what? To be fair, that? watching a girl, a, a hot girl in a skirt build a lightsaber would probably be exciting for a lot of people. Yeah. that's. Could you build a lightsaber in front of me? That'd be I can. Be awesome. I'm sure I can. That'd be awesome. It'd be double bladed. You know, extra, yep. extra special. Okay. Former Disney World. I don't World. call myself Geeky Skywalker while I do it. Geeky Skywalker. Former Disney World Hollywood Studios employee in Florida was that's an awkward sentence. Was arrested after a security guard witnessed him recording an upskirt video of an 18-year-old female guest at the Star Wars themed retail store where he worked. I'm not really sure it's a security guard or cast member because other people said that he wouldn't have got security guards. But we'll just say go with this and say security. Hey, we're going, we're we're running with this one. Uh Jorge Diaz Vega, 26, was arrested on March 31st after he admitted to taking hundreds of videos up the skirts and dresses of unsuspecting women at Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios for six years. Well, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been, yeah, he would have been at Hollywood Studios, but it wouldn't have been Galaxy's Edge for six years. No, no. But he's been, the, he's been working with Disney for six years and his recent job was at Doc Ondar's. But for six years, he's been taking videos of women. Yeah. So we don't even know where all he was stationed to know if you could potentially be a victim. Ah, Vega told deputies he had over 500 videos on his phone, which he said he recorded as a guilty pleasure for his own sexual gratification since it's it's hard to find them online because well, it's God, he didn't post them because online. it's illegal, Jorge. It's illegal. That's why it's hard to find them online. Oh my God. On March 31st, a security guard witnessed him taking a video of the 18-year-old who was in the Star Wars themed Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities with her fiance. 
shopping for Disney World's popular lightsabers. I am sure that that <laughs> her fiance. Well, yeah, yeah. Right. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've ever built a lightsaber. Um, <laughs> gotta put a ring on it, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm sure. I'm sure her fiance oh. was really happy to oh, find out. Oh, it had been you. Someone would have gotten a lightsaber right up the ass. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And not in a fun way. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure there are fun ways. I'm just saying. Can you find those videos online? <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Ray Skywalker strap on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Skywalker now, bitch. Anyway, go ahead. A cast member reported Diaz Vega and security offer officers later informed the young girl that someone had been caught taking a picture under her dress at the lightsaber could, shop. Could you imagine having to be the person to have to tell her that? I mean, okay, as a woman, um, I'm, I, I'm just like wrapping my head around this as a mom too. You know how uh, how you, you go to Disney, you think you're safe. Why would you think you can't wear a dress to Disney? They sell them at Disney all the time. Why would you think you're unsafe doing that? And then the security guard has to find you and tell you that you're a potential witness to the crime because they might have videos of your underpants. If you're wearing underpants, because some women don't, um, you know, as I, I want to know how many. You know, there are some really beautiful women. That when he tried to um, take video, that he might have got more than he bargained for. They might have been hiding their own lightsaber. Hidden, so hidden Mickey. He might like those videos better. I'm not going to judge. Well, probably. But I'm just saying, I would the hate full to be Mickey. I would hate to be the one. I would hate to be the one have to tell this poor girl. She's only 18. 18, right? Tell this poor girl that you know she's got violated at Doc Ondar's with that. Oh my God. She did. She had that violation. That's sexual violation. I know, but the way you said it, it was like. <laughs> What? 18 I can just see that headline like 18 year old girl violated in Disney's Star Wars land yeah but I mean that's what she was it's a, it's a yeah, sexual it is, crime it is, it it's is. a special it's a sexual crime it's a the, it level I think it's a level three felony voyeurism but oh my God. you know and like I said some women don't wear underwear or wear thongs or wear things that barely cover anything because you want to let the air flow because oh, it's hot it is hot okay word of advice when you go to Disney ladies wear panties because you never know Who's trying to sneak a peek at your hidden Mickey? You know, Actually, I'm going to get a pair of underpants that just has this black censored bar on it and just wear that. <laughs> like, or wear granny panties. Even better. We're bloomers. We're bloomers now. Well, yeah. Make it like the, the mini bloomers. Actually, most girls, though, the joke's on this dude because a lot of girls wear shorts under their skirts because – Like the biker shirt. Yeah. Yes, because Can't when you're – I mean, I know so many women and I'm on these boards with girls and they're like, look at my outfit for Disney and here's my shorts I got to match. Because when you're walking, I mean, thigh gaps are great, but most people don't have them. Or even if you have a thigh gap, you know, you don't want to be sweaty and, and you're and icky. So you wear shorts. And most of those women, he probably didn't get much of a, vi a view because a lot of women wear shorts under their skirts. What are you doing? I was trying to see if I had a thigh gap now or not. I, I think you wait. do, actually. I think I do. But that could be because I'm... But I'm that just gives your balls room to breathe. Yes. Yes. Um, they don't sweat as much. As I don't much. have one because I'm too You don't fat. have balls? I'm glad. No, but my, it's a good thing I ha don't have one because that's what keeps my balls tucked up. I was going to say, I'm, I'm <laughs> actually... I'm, I'm very progressive since we're talking about Disney and all that. Even if... I love you. Even if you had balls, I would still love you. I do. I just wear them on my chest. Yes, that's right. Chest They're balls. big ones on my um, chest. Anyway. So, look, this happens a lot at Disney. Uh, I just think it's it's kind well, of... Well, not this specific, but like some kind of... Especially cruise ships, there's been a lot of reports Oh, my God, arrest. cruise ships. Uh, there have been, been trafficking issues, yes. all kinds of things. And again, I want to point out, I'm not trying to defend Disney because you're like, you're just being a Disney that's chill. I'm just being honest because we try to be fair here. We're not one of those channels that just, you know, over-exaggerate shit and clickbait it just to over-exaggerate shit. No. I, to be I, fair, they might honestly not have known. If they did a background check, it doesn't mean it'll show up. I just I just over-exaggerate and clickbait the the thumbnails. Yeah, and you get in trouble from me for like uh, Yeah, but the thing is, is that I I got you I got you to look. And then you can come here and realize that we're actually pretty balanced. And we're yeah, pretty we're pretty fair. fair. But yeah, no, it, it, I mean, if we're being completely fair, like how does this happen? It's very easy to happen. How does it happen with schools? How does it happen, you know, all over the place? It's because if you don't have a record and you haven't been caught, doesn't mean you aren't doing something shitty and bad. It just means that if there's not a record of it, well, you're going to pass a background check. And, 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 and considering how many people they've caught to, Compared to how people work there or have worked there, there hasn't statistically been a lot of people that have been caught doing bad things. 
No. I, I mean, there's it is the size of a, a city. It's the size of San Francisco. There's 80,000 people. Right. San Francisco has a lot more people, I guess, except for all the people left. But it just area-wise, <laughs> area-wise, it's, it's – um, I, I'm just thinking the real crime here is how much these lightsabers yes, cost. Yes, and they lowered prices in Disneyland, but did not in Disney World. So just keep that in mind if you're going to the parks, okay, and you're going anywhere, even on a cruise or whatever, and you have kids with you, um, just, you know, just keep that in mind when you go any place, be it Disney or other places, that they, they could have done background checks, but it does not mean that they caught somebody who was who was doing shitty things. So keep that in mind to keep your kids safe. Yeah, look at the prices. I knew about the prices. They're ridiculous. My God. Um, yeah, so that's just crazy. And they're not very, 50 for a limited Obi-Wan. They're not even good lightsabers. People said you can buy from a third party and you can get a much better lightsaber than Well, I think others. it does it. I don't know. Cause I know like the ones you build at, at Savi's workshop are, are shit. Some yeah. people's like, well, mine works still works fine. Well, that's great for you. Good for you. But statistically speaking, when you see the amount of complaints I, I see on the boards all the time and about how it stopped working after six months, it's a it's a it's a large number. <laughs> I'm just saying anyway, Ahsoka has a curved tilt. Mm -hmm. Apparently. <laughs> And that's not as much as her regular one. Yeah. Um, oh, it's coming. Is this an old list? I don't even know. I don't yeah. pay attention to the prices. I don't care. Um, and the lightsabers because I just like, I used to love this stuff and I probably would have bought every single one. And now I'm just so tired of their shit. And these are like without the blades too. I don't think that's just the hilts. That's just the hilts. Yeah. I, I just, I, I, I am so yeah, over. Yeah, the blades are extras. Oh God. I am so over Star Wars at this point. Just in general. Like, I, I, and I never thought I'd be. Yeah, look at that. That's curved for your pleasure. The Dooku's. Uh, she told you you get a lightsaber in the ass. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> your name is Doth Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Uranus. Doth Prostate. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> I just, I, we're just going to, to, to anyway, go. back to the point. Back to the point. Is, the point is a creepy man was taking videos of the girls at the Disney world. And this yeah. probably does happen. It happens everywhere. It happens in changing rooms. It happens in bathrooms. Wear shorts under your skirts. But if you think you might've potentially been a victim of this person. Okay. You need to get hold of the Orange County Sheriff's Office right away because they're asking people who think they might have been victimized to get hold of them, even though it's going to be really hard to prove because all he did was take pictures of people's panties I, yeah, under I'm their like, skirt. It's not really something you can identify them by their face. Um, how are you going to prove that's your if, if you weren't wearing, cooter? If you weren't wearing panties and you have a piercing or you have or a special birthmark, birthmark, you can prove it's your cooter. You know, or a tat or something. You know, it's like that. that is – yeah, that is uh, that's my Pepe and my inner thigh. That is mm -hmm. that is me. That is me mm -hmm. right there. Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to prove it was you, and that's what's sad. <laughs> there's gonna be a victim. There's like 500 victims of this. Well, it's videos doesn't mean that there are like that's how many victims, but still. Hey, this is Disney. At least she was 18. Yeah, there's uh, you that. know what though? I'm wondering how many girls that were okay, they're taped that weren't. Yeah, I that, that thought crossed my mind. Like this girl happened to be an 18 year old, so apparently he likes some young. And there's probably significant videos of girls who are underage. I, I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. But they probably couldn't. I don't know if they either can talk about that or they didn't want to talk about that. Or, you know, Disney's like, please don't talk about that. Um, yeah, there, there's like, look, again, it's the vast majority of cast members, decent people, but 80,000 people. Yeah, don't blame all creeps. cast members. I mean, you're going to get some creeps. I want to. Yeah, we want to make it very, very clear. The majority of cast members would be reporting this person right away if they knew about it. Like At, they weren't yep. going to stand by and let this happen. And, you know, and all because this person gets off pretending that by looking at pictures of girls panties, they're actually showing that him their panties. That's, if you look at that's what he's doing. It's like cosplay. God. He's like pretends that those women are showing him their panties so he can get off. Because uh, they wouldn't show it to him any other time. Force is female. You know? What's that happened to I, I don't know. I just I had to get that in there because I guess he took it too too seriously. Yeah. All right, we're gonna wrap this yeah. up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.